be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up. It's definitely going to help out the channel. Also, we got courses and drum kits and melody kits that you can get on my site, beatmakingbasics.com. Make sure you go there right now. Link is in the description. We also have our 100K giveaway that we're doing on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. We're gonna be giving away cool prizes. All you had to do to get signed up is get our 100K bundle pack. Go to the site, bemakingbases.com, and let's go ahead and go. So, for today's video, I, I made this Nardo Wick type beat, and what I'm gonna do is actually um, arrange it into song format in this video. So, first step is I'm gonna let you listen to the beat, and then we'll just go ahead and map it out um, right here in the timeline. So this is the beat, right? All right, so pretty, pretty basic beat. Um, obviously, when it comes to arranging in music, you just kind of ha have to identify several major points. What is the intro? What is the hook? What are the, what's the verse going to be? And what is the outro going to be? Okay. So those are four major points. And really, we can just knock it down to three. Uh, intro and outro, hook, and verse. So let's just go with an intro first. I'm just going to take this, hold down option, and drag this over. You can also push command R, and that's, that will double everything for you easily. So that's another way to do it. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to mute out all the drums and everything. And that's going to be our intro. All right, cool. So we have this is our intro. This is going to be our hook. And then we could go into our verses. Um, one way to make this simple to where you don't have to like guess what's what is the color code, everything. If you highlight this and then go over here to the top and get your cut, get to your colors this way. We get that. All right. Blue is going to be our intro. Um, purple is going to be our hooks. And then our verses are going to be pink. It doesn't really matter, man. You can put them any color. But um, what I'll do now for our verses, I'm going to swap out this melody for this melody down here. And um, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take the kick out of the first part of the beat. And then that's going to be pretty much just be our verse. Um, from here, we're just going to take this and I'm just going to go ahead and um, we can push command R and it's going to automatically double this, whatever we have highlighted here. Do it one more time. And then we're going to take our intro and we're going to reverse it. Basically, this last part we're going to put it at the beginning and then this beginning part we're going to put it at the end. And that's a simple way to, you know what I'm saying, um, arrange your beat as a song format. Now, of course, there's going to be some things that you're going to want to do to make it complete. Um, but let's just listen to how it sounds from the verse, from the chorus to the verse.
And for those who are no, new, um, basically to mute out anything within the workspace window, you push Control M. And if you notice here for the verses, you want your beats to build. So when I say build, you want it to be introducing something new each part of the beat. OK, um, so that's what we got going right here. Another thing that I want to do here is add some transitions. So like before each new section starts on the beat, you want to have some type of transitional piece in play. So. Like for this one, I'll create this, a new software instrument track, a new uh, quick sampler track. And you want to have a transitional sound. So I've already found one. Um, this is Rise. You always also have riser effects like in your actual uh, sound bank. Use that sound a lot in a lot of the beats that I do. So you want to find a sound like that, that can be a transitional sound for your beats. And you just kind of can see how that brings in the beat a bit, little bit better or brings in each new section better. To make that easier, what I'll do is just extend it out and then not literally just push command R and it's just going to double itself up for you for you. All right, cool. So we'll have that riser effect right here. And I'm going to put this closer to the bottom here, put that kick at the top eight away here. Okay, cool. So we have our riser. Next thing I like to add in here is um, like a crash or a cymbal sound. Again, you can with this quick sampler, you can drag and drop sounds from anywhere. Splice. Um, we have a next level drum pack. You can drag, you know, download that from the site beatmakingbases.com, and you can down um, take the sounds and drag them and drop in here and save them, save as. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and pull up this um, this cymbal sound. Or we could say crash. You know what I'm saying so. Push Command R. It's a whole lot easier. And it would basically just double everything out. Save everything, you know, as you go. You could push this to the left or the right. And another thing that you could do on on your beats is say on a melody, you could come over here and put this plug in right here. It's called uh, the remix effect. I've done a lot of videos on these. There's a remix effect, but I would highly recommend doing that. And what this remix effect could do is add different variation, um, you know, for your verses. So basically to enable it, you just go ahead and click right here on the track that you want to enable. We're going to be using Melody 2 um, or putting this on the Melody 2 track. And I put Latch right here. And basically what Latch is going to do is record any automation that we do within um, on any of these plugins, but let's just say since we're focused on this uh, remix effect, it's going to do it on this one. So we'll just play play the beat through, and I'll do some cool.
right, cool. So we did that. What it'll do now is turn off Lash. Go ahead and go to read instead. And we'll push A. And what that's going to do, if we zoom in here, you can see these little marks. Um, and I can come over here and make adjustments to anything that I did here. Say if I made any type of mistake. Let's go to this gator. Zoom in. I'm just holding down option and scrolling left or right on my mouse or my keypad. You can zoom in that way. And we'll go to this other one. <clears throat> I'm just taking these points to the very end of the next uh, start of the beat. Then you can go to a different effect. So we could do like this repeater effect. All right, and now the beat has a little bit of variation throughout the uh, verses just by using that remix plugin. Um, for the most part, this beat is already ready to go and done. Um, there's some couple of things that I might do as far as with the mix, but that's pretty much all we got going here. <clears throat> So yeah, man, we're gonna go ahead and end the video just like this. I do appreciate y'all uh, for being subscribed. Also for anybody who's going to my site, getting courses and stuff, if you're brand new, make sure that you go to my site, Be Making Basics. We do have some courses there for you. Um, I have one course that's for beginners. So like if you're brand new to music production and you just want a course that's gonna really go over all of the um, different fundamentals of music production, you're gonna wanna grab that course. It's like a, a beginner level course. You'll see it as soon as you go to the site. I also have a more advanced course and it's for people who, maybe you know how to make beats, you just don't know how to make them well in Logic Pro 10. I'm gonna go over all of the different um, you know, nuances of making beats within Logic Pro 10 in that course. And I have a mixing course and a melody course. We also have a drum kit. We also have a melody kit that you can get on my website. Um, those drum kits and melody kits are royalty free, so you don't have to worry about me coming back to you asking you for a royalty when you use those samples. And without further ado, we also have our 100K giveaway. We're doing, okay? Don't want to miss out on this, okay, y'all? We're giving away some prizes, cool prizes, along our journey to 100,000 subscribers. So what this means is at every milestone on our journey to 100,000 subscribers, we have different milestones. First milestone is 10,000 subscribers. We're going to be giving away some cool prizes. So first prize is a pair of headphones to get entered to win. You have to be a subscriber and you have to go to beatmakingbasics.com grab the subscriber bundle pack okay grab the subscriber bundle pack it's only five bucks and you get sounds and tutorials with that bundle pack plus you get entered to win so it's a win-win situation for both of us all of us everybody so um thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video we're out